Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're opening up some more 2022 Mosaic Football by Panini. We have retail packs here. This time we're doing a $90 challenge. So right around the $90 mark, um, you can get four of these hanger uh, packs or boxes, hanger packs now, uh, from Walmart for $22. Um, you can buy them a little cheaper at Target. We got these from Walmart online. Um, and so we're going to compare four of these versus six of these cello packs. We'll do these in a separate video, uh, but we're going to open up the hanger packs now and see what we can pull out of these. We're going to be hunting, of course, for Brock Purdy. His cards are literally on fire. Well, not literally, but pretty close. Um, and uh, he uh, obviously played really well in the playoff game. Um, fun to see him succeeding especially as he was kind of, as he's known now, Mr. or was known uh, as Mr. Irrelevant. Uh, but in these hanger packs, of course, you get the orange uh, reactives. Uh, you can also pull things like Genesis, the Storm Chasers, um, the, uh, all the other, the Honeycombs, all the other um, big chases out of this. Um, speaking of chase, there's Jamar Chase. Uh, but... As we start this video, if you uh, haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, we greatly appreciate your support and uh, let us know in the comments below, have you opened up some mosaic and what have you found? Um, the hanger packs have been pretty pretty solid. I like that you get a bunch of rookies uh, in the hanger pack. So the first one we got there was a James Cook NFL debut. And if you get an NFL debut and these hanger uh, packs are usually in the beginning or towards the beginning of the pack. So let's see if we can pull a Brock Purdy out of here. Uh, Trent McDuffie, not quite the guy. Or maybe even a rookie variation, which are exclusive, I believe, to the hanger packs. And no Brock Purdy in pack one, but you can see there we got one, two, three, four rookies. And a Jeff Simmons um, for the Tennessee Titans. Let's see if we can get an orange uh, rookie out of here. Usually the orange rookies are at the back of the stack. You usually get four of them. I like the San Francisco, but not the right guy. Although Hall of Famer Joe Montana, not a bad card to pull. And no. Uh, Dotson. This card looks a little bit off-center. Look at the bottom of that card. Um, yeah, compared to the Joe Montana, definitely top to bottom. Too bad. That... Um, that would be a nice card otherwise. Um, and then we have this Joe Mixon, the bang insert. I love those cards, those action cards. And then behind that, we have a nice uh, George Kittle, a Thunder Lane, and that's going to be the green prism. So that's a parallel of that one. So uh, first pack, nothing too crazy out of that one. Let's see what we get out of pack number two. I mean, besides that, a uh, few quality control issues out of this product so far i'd say overall it's better than a lot of the other ones i've seen um and uh especially in retail um or, or overall i should say the it's been it seems like it's been a little bit better now it's not perfect because i've seen cards like that miscut card uh, and other damage cards there's an antonio gates no um nfl debut and there's one of the national pride cards lamar jackson uh, Scantling and a Juju Smith Schuster, so a bunch of Chiefs right there, and then a CD Lamb and Michael Vick. So we should be getting the rookies here. Yep, um, Derek and a no, and there we go. Nice Kenny Pickett. So that's not a bad one. I don't know that I've pulled many, if any, of his rookie cards yet, other than one that we pulled that was a pretty big one but base rookie cards i don't think i have so let's see if there's anybody else in here but that wasn't bad and we got a silver right here is it a rookie variation i think it might be um Bo melton let's see is it no it is not it's just a silver okay so if it has if it is a rookie variation i think it, there's a v in here somewhere um i don't i don't know much about a Bo Melton, but I do know uh, that there are those rookie variations in here, and I believe there's all silver mosaic. There's a nice one, an orange reactive, Josh Allen, a Carson Wentz, and a Cooper Cup, and we have, ooh, right color, wrong team, um, Trent McDuffie, uh, rookie, 
Orange Reactive, Delvin Cook will to win, and then a nice Hall of Fame, John Elway. So pack number two was okay, and we got that Kenny Pickett. Won't complain about that. Uh, I do think that these uh, hanger packs are actually quite a good value. Um, you know, but once again, they're like all these retail products. They're not all going to be that great. So let's see if we can pull anything here. There's a nice Ahmad Sauce Garner um, NFL debut. So you can see it right at the bottom there. It says NFL debut if you're not familiar with how they make these mosaic cards. Um, then they have the regular rookies like this Desmond Ryder. That's not a bad one. See if he plays more next year. Uh, Cade Otten. And we have a Sky Moore. And it looks like we have something flipped over here. Uh, Kelvin Austin. So let's go and save that for the end of this pack. Jordan Poyer. AJ Brown. Avon Miller. And, ooh, once again, the right color, wrong team. <laughs> Logan Hall. I, was, I just saw the color and I was like, uh, yeah, but obviously the Brock Purdy card does look different, although... Uh, the coloring is similar. So Dak Prescott, and then we have the Hall of Fame, or Hollow Fame, uh, Jerome Bettis. All right, let's see what this flipped over card is. I believe it's an autograph. So let's see. Is it, oh, it's an orange, ooh, old timer. Ken Anderson, that is pretty sweet. Uh, is this Kenny Anderson from the Bengals? Yes, the Bengals, Ken Anderson. Um, I believe he was quarterback the same time Chris Collinsworth was a wide receiver for them. Uh, so that's a pretty cool card. Uh, way back machine card, and that's an orange autograph. I don't know how hard these are to pull. Panini does not give odds on their uh, packs, but I'll take that. That is pretty sweet. All right, we'll put Ken Anderson out in the back. Um, and yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, they don't have the old, um, or they don't, that's like a, such an old helmet. Now, am I thinking of the right guy? It's gotta be. There's Kenny Anderson, Ken Anderson. Yeah, he play, must have played for a while because I believe the Bengals, when Chris Collinsworth was playing, had the Bengals stripe helmets. But all right, last pack. Let's see what we get out of here. Here is a nice George Pickens um, NFL debut. It's not bad at all. We definitely hit some nice base rookie cards and NFL debut cards uh, for sure. And that uh, autograph is pretty cool. Now, this is going to be a sticker autograph. There's an Aaron Rodgers. Here's a Kyle Phillips, a nice Matt Carell. See if he can come back from injury and play for the Panthers next year. And then we have a Daniel Bellinger and nice uh, Aiden Hutchinson uh, base. Uh, so we did get some really good rookies out of those uh, packs. And there's a Denza Ward that's going to be the green uh, silver mosaic parallel. And we have a Dawson Knox for the Buffalo Bills. See if they can win another playoff game this week. Eric Dickerson, one of the all-time great running backs. And Tony Romo, one of the all-time great commentators. Oh, no Brock Purdy in this search but we did get a Daxton Hall orange reactive and then behind that we have an Antonio Gibson um, and a Hall of Fame Warren Moon uh, all time great for the Houston Oilers all right so here's uh, you get a ton of inserts rookie cards all of that uh, and parallels in here so there's all of that and we did get that nice Kenny Pickett and Kenny and then we got the Pickens um, uh, NFL debut, and we got uh, the Aiden Hutchinson base, um, and we did pull a couple Orange Reactive rookies, but uh, probably the card of the break, even though it may not have a lot of value, still is pretty cool. The Ken Anderson um, card, uh, the Scripps card, the Orange autograph, which I don't think those are easy to pull at all. Uh, once again, on the back of these packs, it just shows you what you can pull, but does not give you any kind of odds. So anyways, let us know uh, what you think of this. Uh, for the $90 price point, roughly, after tax, maybe just a tad over 90 
Um, you know, would you rather have four of these packs or six of these solo packs? So stay tuned for a video coming soon where we'll do six of these packs and see which one is a better value for right around that $90 price point. These are going to just be a little, six of these are just a little over 90, but it's pretty, pretty comparable. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and comment below. Let us know what you think of Mosaic Hanger Packs. Take care, guys. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next video.